Hello everyone, sales of the new BMW R1300GS begin by the end of 2023. Naturally, further R models will come this year in 2024 and in 2025. We recently spoke with you on this subject. However, we can now be certain that new frames with this functionality will be released this season. This indicates what the R1300R, R1300RS, and R1300RT's future holds. They'll be here sooner than we anticipate, some later in the year, and some this year. Of course, all these new chassis will be equipped with a new 1300 boxer engine with a minimum of 145 HP and optionally equipped with the revolutionary ASA automatic transmission. The system uses two electromechanical actuators to automate clutch and gear changes in the six-speed transmission, eliminating the need for a clutch lever. Similar to Honda's DCT system, the rider simply twists the throttle to start and the clutch automatically engages when stopped. Now, several causes show us what RRS and RT will look like in 2024. BMW R1300R, R1300RS, and R1300RT, then it is evident that they followed the route taken by the 2024 BMW R1300GS. This new 1300cc boxer engine will progressively replace the 1250cc engine in the Naked Sport and Touring models with or without an ASA gearbox. But because there are no leaks or spy shots of the R1300 series cars, designer Carly and our German colleagues can only guess as to what these three models will likely look like in the near future. BMW's most athletic boxer design will be updated for the R1300Rs with semi fairings, lead turn signals, standard lead daytime running lights, and other new accessories. With improvements planned for the next model year, 2025, this modification is anticipated to keep the current RS on the market until autumn of 2024. Modifications to the chassis were also necessary as the new 1300 engine developed. BMW used a redesigned steel main chassis with an aluminum subframe connected by bolts for the R1300GS. The R1300RS is anticipated to go in the same manner. The RS, however, is probably going to have upside down telescopic forks, just like its predecessor, and a huge water radiator up front, while the GS keeps the telever and two side mounted water coolers. At dealers, the RS is anticipated to provide a little sportier feel than the model it replaces. The small headlamps are incorporated into a more aerodynamic and compact fairing. The sharper, slimmer tail end matches the aluminum subframe exactly, giving the vehicle this look. A more dynamic and nimble driving experience is promised by these modifications in addition to the weight loss. 